Ah, so close. That's it. That's pretty steady as it is. I'm gonna go put the other one on and then we'll start laying on the top. Alright, so now I'm just gonna show you guys how to cut the angled pieces for the for the valves. So here I just cut a four by four piece of plywood. Now this can be anything just as long as it is dead flat and pretty lightweight. Now, it also has the benefit, if you use plywood, of being about the same weight for each one. So, it should be similar. So, what I'm just going to do is I have created an angle here. That, and I just kind of played around and found some pieces and just got it to right around where I wanted it to be. Uh, I won't be able to tell you the angle because mine, for one, isn't perfect as it is. I'm just going to put a couple nails in it, it's not going to affect the airflow, it's not going to affect anything, it just prevents it from moving. So I also put a clamp and a 2x4 at a, at a known angle that I kind of set up and tweaked around a little bit. So now when I bring the blade down, I want to do it slowly. This is going to create a lot of smoke because my blade is very dull. All right, so we're on the final stages here. We're going to be doing a little bit more to this. I'm gonna be putting on the side, the top, and the front of this plate, drilling a hole for the pipe that will lead out to the forge. And then we're going to stain it, and well, I'll seal it in certain spots, stain it, and then seal the this front gap here so I don't the, the sealer will prevent me from getting a stain in there so I'm gonna stain it then seal it so the stain should take a few hours to dry so I'll also show you guys real quick the the action so where the piston or the one-way valves so I finish those up the when I push in this valve will open allowing air to draw in to the chamber and also at the same time it'll push out there so you can watch both of them from here. And I'm losing quite a bit of air through some cracks. The base I have it on right now is not very steady, but 
once I get it on some concrete blocks or something and stabilize it a little bit, this thing will be moving like crazy. Also, I gotta make this a little bigger so that it moves a little bit easier. So, all right. So let's get this thing finished up.